All right, welcome Harrison to another one of our pop-up Lego shows. How is everyone going? Welcome, Nick. I am excited to be here. We've had lots of people through the door this morning, so we're going to help everybody online who couldn't make it uh, have that same experience. Yeah, so let's get straight into the Lego show. Only $5 today, people that do want to come along to our pop-up shows. We try and keep it cheap and keep it friendly. Come and have a look what we've got on show. And Follow we're going to start in. with number one, our table with Scott's military tanks. So yeah, immediately on the left here, we're straight into the Lego, a couple tables filled with the army quadrant. Hey Scott, we're not interviewing, but uh, having a look at your uh, display here today, you've got a lot of military stuff going on. Yeah, I thought I'd do something different, do some tanks this time. I jokingly said to Scott that uh, he might be sick because he normally does helicopters and instead he bought tanks. I bought tanks, I bought a uh, A Chinook, isn't it? I bought my token helicopter, I'm gonna have the Chinook with me. I Scott, love the fact Scott's we have going for number Batman one. down here. We're actually having voting today as well for all the exhibitors. To, I have uh, been yeah, told that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you uh, look at the front of our envelopes, we've uh, got all of our information and yeah, we have a voting great code. Great inclusion. Right here. Checking in, and then you cash this in for a snag and a drink at lunchtime. So let's move on to table number two. Table number two is Godzilla. It's made its <laughs> Godzilla, appearance. this is a three-way build. I think Scott's been involved in this because there's a bit of army uh, tanks attacking Godzilla. Uh, Scott has been involved in that one, funnily enough. That is the Australian Abrams as opposed to the American, however. So, so this uh, is uh, Stephen the... Bean and Joe and Scott that are building this. So Beanie's built the Godzilla. Uh, it may make another appearance on our train display and hence we've got a train running around it at this time as well. A couple of trees which I've had the sneak privilege that they may appear in realms as well. I so have been told they are uh, I, I medieval love how trees. our builders can utilise all of their different builds and bring it together for a pop-up show. With just giving little hints and, and ideas of what's to come in the future. If anybody has any idea what to do with a 96 brick high cliff, please let me know. <laughs> well, you can always knock it down and build it up again. Funnily enough, I did that this week. All right, and here we have table number three with uh, Michael and... Well, now I'm hungry and that's just not fair. Yeah, right on lunchtime. So, looks like the ghosts are pretty hungry as well. Mm. Well, well, they have just released the Pac-Man set, Nick, yeah, I believe. Yeah, you can up, upgrade. Right. Or that, downgrade. That blue ghost, case. like he'd be in for a bit of danger. When he's not supposed to be chased, he'd be chased. Mm. Anyway. Mm. Once again, I do love that Spyro. We see it regularly. It is the, uh, the, the mantelpiece there. It gets me every time. Lovely. Looks like uh, hors d'oeuvres are served. There's another Spyro, a smaller one. Oh, I'm looking forward to finding that later. Uh, I actually haven't had a walkthrough yet, so uh, the well, joy of is. this means Th I get to do both. Indeed, indeed. And of course, we're going to chase all the builds around today. So on table number, what are we up to, four this already? This is 17. Table 17, what's happened there? We've gone in the wrong direction. Uh, oh, behind us, so let's go, we've got, skip over, follow the numbers. Number four's over here. And Kelly has got a, it's snow party. Oh, we skipped over three, which was Adam. We're we gonna did. go to Adam. Uh, so Adam has done all of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy ships uh, to tie in with the new movie that is currently out now in cinemas. Is this focus on Adam's little, uh, build here of all the bricks so he's built a bit of a brick wall you could say and uh, ah, i love that everybody's doing a different thing these days so i want to just have a look at those as we go around if we can i forgot mine today i will admit oh, me too that's why we'll focus on other people's but i am going to try something new um to do with our frames for bbx i've actually mounted it on the top uh, so that everybody has their display frame has their brick on there for bbx as a little concept right which we'll see later okay so let's skip over to number five. Number five, we got Bailey. So uh, Bailey's one of our uh, younger builders. And is, I think he's, he's got a bit of a um, Sonic the Hedgehog running. I believe through. so. Also with new sets coming out very shortly, yes. I have uh, You may have seen this Sonic on a preview of our show as a bit of a sneak peek of what was coming. I but he's also that. Brickhead, all of the Sonic characters. And I do love the Eggman robot in the back right-hand corner. And here as well. And very much themed. Uh, once again, our little oh, expo yeah, look at the, There yeah. we go. Good job. He's themed up his bricks. Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. So everyone displays their brick. So you get a brick every show, and you can build up your own little diorama around those. 
And that moves us into our Star Wars. Yep, Joel and David. Table number six. Uh, he's gone incognito on us with his stormtrooper. Am I right there? Uh, that is a clone trooper, oh, phase cool. one specifically. Yeah. And funnily enough, I wore one of those Hasbro helmets at the very start of my uh, time with uh, the club as well. Yeah, Except right. mine was blue. Because you're a Rex. Uh, that is correct. Yeah, I got one right. He's on fire now. A bit of Technic and a bit of Back to the Future. Back to the Future by you, BTTF, is probably my favourite film ever, trilogy. Well, we'll let you we'll let you off for that one. It is still an 80s movie. I do like, though, the little minifigure head that's been built there with yeah. uh, that's not Technic. Are you claiming that one? Oh, yes, this, okay. There you go, the whole family contributing to this table build. That's nice. And Ron will be excited to see more Technic here, too. Of course so he will. Always a bonus. Uh, next, we move on to some classic space. All right, look at this go here. D Dan's, sorry, playing with your display there, Dan. Got a bit of Blacktron, got a bit of uh, Mag Magnetron. Everything on this table is older than me. <laughs> so ma mainly <laughs> mainly 80s and 90s space then, is that what we're looking at? One, two, three, four. Oh, come on, isn't this a gift with purchase? Isn't this, Brett, there you go, that's younger than you. Well, the, the concept is older than me. True. Four sets younger than Harrison on you. I know five, I think. Well, it's... And you've got a few of Brent Waller's custom space monochrome um, shiny figs, what do they call them? I have no idea what he's organising for BBX, but apparently it's going to be massive again, so... Yeah, right. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Isn't doing something that's going to blow our minds for BBX? Well, you mean I again? Think, would I think that be BBX surprise? is going to be huge this year, guys. So we've got over 31 displays here today, and at BBX we're going to have over 113 officially. Right, it's going to be huge. That's in September 2023, including people from you can get all over now Australia online for the RNA show. Speaking BBX about people from all over, you might uh -huh. know this man from his podcast, and we have Claire's. Lovely build here today. I believe it is her first time displaying. She has. Thanks uh, for coming along and showing us what you got, Claire. She's had the experience of moving Lego in the car for the first time, which is a scary one. Especially when you have a rickety old bridge and there's just parts that are, are ready to fall off. The worst part is the natural rattle of the Lego because you don't know if it's just not going to be in one piece when you get back. And you know what I found really good to stuff it with? Toilet paper rolls. Okay. I had a big thing of toilet paper rolls, like with butterfat. We, we use cling wrap a lot, Browse. Yeah. Not great yeah. through airports. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Somebody with um little blue pieces of plastic nearly got in trouble, is that right? That is correct, yes. Ah. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna quickly kill all these tables today. Not kill them, just move along and keep everyone rolling so we have some number fantastic nine and ten. doctor who uh the tenth doctor of course being another man who likes a brown fedora so this is grant with all the star wars and doctor who on the left wait oh, no it's all star wars it's, it's all doctor who is it it's no, all doctor who there's no, no star, star wars. wars here my bad oh yeah and then we Multiple move in TARDIS. to oh, the what? half table build which is this... going to be seen in our realms I yes believe. this is by michael and uh He's going to be in the green quadrant of the realms where the forests are and there's a, a really interesting technique he's done with his base plate there to build sideways and it's really effective to give a different path look. Nick and I are in the blue sector, I believe, aren't we? Oh, I got red and a bit of blue. Oh, I'm kind of all over the place. You're all over the place. But yeah, very impressive trees and dragons. Expect to see a lot more of that. When a you lot see more dragons, the, I hope. The collaborative realms build, which is going to cover 18 tables. It's going to be I massive. do like a good dragon. Moving so, in to something that is also older than me, an LP. Yes. Um, some classics here, as well as some new stuff that I do recognise. I can pick Coldplay. I can pick Pink Floyd. Johnny Cash, of course. The Man in Black. Eagles. Fleetwood uh, Mac got, at the back. Yep. Uh, London Calling by David Clash. David Bowie, Black Star. I am a little confused by whatever the... That one is silver chair. Yeah, frog stomp. And after that, I'm in trouble. What about this one? The white album by the Beatles. That is the white album. Yay! Or as my Hungarian cousins call them, Beatless, because that's how it's pronounced Speaking in their language. Speaking of the Beatles, on our next display here, 
We have the bugs. We have the bugs. So uh, for copyright reasons, I have been told. Well, when you look at the characters, they do look very similar to the Beatles that we were speaking of that created the White Album. But Funnily this is enough, the most interactive display by Mark this time. He's got lights, he's got movement, and he's got sound. It's almost like he's had three weeks off by, uh, by himself at home. Amazing what a lip operation will do to you. It doesn't stop you from being lippy though. No, no, he's more than happy to talk about it. And he actually ran our last social night and taught us all about the amazing uh, stuff the new Power Functions app can do. Yeah, and I think you're running a rock tutorial on our next social night. It's gonna rock out. Yeah, rocking it. Nice. Now that's a very impressive display. Once again, Mark is so creative. As well as some help from TJ for the stage, I believe. Oh, TJ helped as well. Oh, that was a combined effort, I didn't and then, know that. Speaking there of the go. Stringer clan, we have Jenny's wedding here. I uh, oh, yes. find a the new thing. The Enchanted Garden Wedding. I find a new thing to look at in this every single time. How neat, Jenny, oh. you've done a fantastic job. The dance floor is pretty clear. Yes, Obviously. should have gone a bit more expensive on oh, the budget for a better at, DJ. At the main event. We haven't progressed to the eating and, and frivolities of the evening. That's why I go to work. Look at that present table. These guys are spoiled as. They must have rich friends. I need, to, I need to find out who they are. I wonder if they had one of those registries so they could get exactly what they wanted. Oh, I don't know, but I reckon mine would be mostly Lego and Indiana Jones stuff, funnily and, enough. And we were focusing on, on the badges, so look at Jenny's. This is so Jenny. As someone who does rock a hot pink Mando on the odd occasion, I am quite drawn to the vibrant pink. You've done a pink Mando? I have. Oh, let's not go there. I have too much free time. Yes, all right. And beside Jenny is Linda. So Linda's also brought along her... Fantasy oh, Realm, I believe. Fantasy Realm. Oh, well, that could be a clue to Realms 2024. It could indeed. On and table then... 14, Kevin. And just by yourself, or is that collaborative? No, you did this. So this is a touch of Jurassic Park. Also with new sets that have just been released. So I'm seeing a recurring theme here. Yeah. Like, Kevin's spending a lot of, on Lego. Now, um, I have a runner for the most uh, hurting piece to step on out of Lego. Multiple yeah. spikes under the foot, uh, replacing the one by one little uh, pyramid piece. That's what they mean by walking on eggshells, right? Exactly my point. Um, I ha I've had the unfortunate uh, experience of stepping on one of those. Yeah, Kevin's brick stack is, um, well, we've got today's. Oh, you're, you're in the club, join the club. Yeah, there's a club happening. We, we, we've pulled a bit of a Betty Crocker there. Now, if we're going to go to table 15 to follow the order, I think we've got to go right back near the start. So. We have to sort of go that way to come this way. Exactly Let's correct. do it. Let's do the walk around. You can just see how busy it is today. Um, this is It is nice to have such a great turnout, isn't it, Nick? And yeah, we've, we have really got it pumping today. I'm very impressed with the crowds that we've drawn, but here we are, back to table. We are back, 17 with Debbie and Andrew. Let's back go there. Debbie and Andrew. I think we'd done 15 and 16 earlier. Now, I was joking with them earlier that their build was entirely uh, to uh, justify the purchase of the A-frame cabin. Just going to get the camera in there to have a look. Yeah, well. But they have done a fantastic job. And at least it continues. They built those. This is true. <laughs> it <laughs> continues their theme. We've had uh, the Winter Wonderland, the Summer Fun Park, and now we have the Autumn Camping Adventure. Uh -huh. uh, but the snowman does make another appearance. So are looking a forward favorite. to a summer show at, at BBX or what? Is that the next thing to come? The, no, the whole... so we've got winter, summer, <laughs> right. and autumn. They might uh, be springing uh, into their next build. done to death. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. No, we'll go back to Christmas. Or we, no, all four, yeah. all four. All four we made. No. Four seasons in that. one display. Yeah. You've done that. <laughs> I believe uh, that was a that build was from wild. earlier. It was. Is that right, last uh, video? Alan's skipping around the back, which is probably a good thing. Uh, I brought in a few of my games. So we love letting the kids get their hands on the uh, NBA, which is actually my number set for my badge number for the club. I don't know what mine is. Right, well, this is my favorite set, the NBA set, very playable. Uh, we've also got all the other board games and the new foosball table. So we let the kids have a go playing that as well. Better watch that pyramid. And uh, I got Martin helping us out today. Shout out to Marty and Mary Ann standing in. 
Uh, Are you uh, going to pick up the new soccer set that they've just announced? No, maybe not. Maybe not? Oh, I do like the Sam Kerr minifig, because as you know, I'm a big minifig fan. They actually go all the way around my table now. You Might be a brick link behind uh, the scenes there, Alan. Later. Like they actually wrap arounds. So we are on TV. It's all right. You might need to, um, you know, get a higher table so you can keep going taller. I think I've got, well, I've got all the new sets. It's a Disney CMF. The third set just came out. That is so true. We've got all three of those. I have There's... seen some of those minifigures with lovely new molds uh, in some Pinocchio of them. Pinocchio has a nose. Pinocchio has a nose. Who would have thought? That has um, caused controversy. This is Mary Ann's table. She's got um, commission builds on the Harry Potter train because she doesn't like trains, but she loves Harry Potter. Uh, right. Her mock is the goldfish bowl. I don't think the bowl's Lego, but the rest of it is. It's hard to do glass out of Lego, isn't it? It really is. But, well, uh, we'll, we will allow the use of a third party element in this case. When we uh, come around the front, we'll be able to see Mary Ann's brick stack as well as Matilde's. So Matilde's one of our younger builders in the club. Uh, Magnus's daughter, but she's already got an impressive brick stack at the back here uh, since 2019. She's been rocking it out since Toowoomba. So, uh, look at that zoom in and clarity this on that. This one actually folds, I believe. Yeah, we made like a little book shaped one so that we can uh, have our minifigs in the back, open it up, and. And Nick that's... is doing Brisbane's TV, which is why he's not in his chair. <laughs> So yeah, just a different idea. And we may do a social night idea on how we build those brick stacks and not everyone's got the variety. And Mine is mounted on our Bris Brick sign built by our uh, founding member, Russell. Oh, just before we leave this table, one of Matilda's 10 Segretis. Yeah, it's amazing how these actually float. Magic. It, it is. It's very appropriate magic. for Harry Potter. There's no science in that whatsoever. It's just very clever. Speaking of no science whatsoever, we have uh, the Cursed Cars by Matilda's father, okay, Magnus. so this is Matilda's dad, Magnus, that everyone knows from our club. And the Australian yeah. classic Mad Max, uh, this one being Fury Road. Well, hang on, hang on, we're focusing on a bit of Radiator Springs and, and some Mech Up Thomas before we get to Mad Max. Well, I have been told they're sort of collaborating today, sharing the table, because they're going with that sort of apocalypse car theme. Ah, okay. So uh, Magnus was explaining earlier that the reason the cars have legs is they had to learn to walk when they ran out of petrol. <laughs> that's, that's totally mad, Max. Very, very mad indeed. It's almost Mad Magnus. Mad Magnus. That could be his next uh, pager, uh, <laughs> knowing him. Yeah, now, this is only a taste of the Fury Road part of Mad Max, of things to come. So these are some of the builds that you may see in BBX in a much more apocalyptic landscape, I believe. Funnily enough, the last time I saw these, it was actually flooding, so there you go. Yeah, right. Uh, Dennis has done a fantastic job, though, of actually, he's got a sign at the back there, and he has many more signs uh, for his big display. Yeah, that we need to have up. Uh, we will get those up for the big show. That uh, do a really great the job of actually behind where the cars came from and the builds came from. I might have to steal. Oh, that. look at that brick stack. That's pretty simple and elegant. It's there. It's got the book style, and they're all in place. At least he remembered his today. True. I thought that was Tina Turner. Bless God, rest her soul. It wasn't. It was a reference to a great artist, just like those guys are. I'm a walking reference. Now, Adrian has brought along uh, a selection of Star Wars stuff. How are you doing, Bilza? Good, how are you? Good. It, is it swooshable? In your, uh, in your stream. No, you it's swooshable. It You're just doing the streams. Um, oh. Now, um, <laughs> speaking of brick stacks, we have our winner, I believe, here. Oh, this is Excalibur. fantastic. I know, I was only saying that myself. In fact, if we're voting on brick stacks, you're pretty much nailing it there, Adrian. That's, that's fantastic. Really pops. And rocks and a nice use of the pre-molded base piece as well absolutely which that lego is, that not is lego. Done in a very long time that, that exactly right now this next collection of eclectic parts is from ed ed, ed, and he ed is, um, works at brick resales and he assures me that this hasn't helped him build this collection although i secretly think that it's definitely influenced what what he collects but he collects a bit of everything, so a frog in every colour. I quite like the new highlighter yellow, it is very vibrant. And then 
They're all the trash cans, except he's missing a two and a four. Because they changed the mould of the trash can, did you know? Yes, I right. do know this. And then all the parrots, and then all the, the parts, all the spacemen, all the two by four bricks that you can collect in every colour, and then all the other colours where he's had to substitute some parts in. So these, what, what do you call these kind of collections, Ed? Uh, this is a, a colour chart or a colour OCD, collection. you call them? <laughs> <laughs> it's a useful reference. Yes, it is. Right, because you're working with these every day. I do, right, so So it's a, it's a fantastic collection. And then, of course, this fantastic mock that you've done. Uh, that's my uh, mosaic of Beaker from Muppets. Beaker, Beaker, Beaker. We know some Muppets. Yes, speaking of Muppets, the next table is built by a Muppet that we know really well. It is indeed, and I actually have some very, very new stuff. I'll run it through super duper quickly. Yeah. The new sets obviously have come out in April. I have combined two of them to do a full set for the uh, Well of Souls pit. Kept the play features in the back. Uh, my latest addition that is a complete mock though is the lovely Brickhead, uh, which was achieved by getting Chip and um, Woody, chopping them together and adding a few little pieces like the satchel and the whip. Good work. So that is pretty Speaking much Speaking of OCD, look at that mini big collection of just about every, every that, one you can get. That is every single one, yes. Yeah with all of the new ones added in, which causes a problem when you've built a display for uh, something you never thought would and come back. did you mock up another minifig recently? Is that fresh one you showed? That on? will be for our BBX show. No, I won't, I won't reveal then. Well, it's, it's a young indie, let's put it that way. Puzzle Cube, now that's interesting. It has puzzled me. Whoa, oh, there look. it is, it's just popped in. That doesn't look like a Can cube you though. Build, oh, so it's getting cleaned because people have been playing with this with grubby little fingers. All right, but while we're here, we'll look at the rest of the display by Glenn and Melinda. Now, speaking of OCD and colors. Oh, look at, look at these. We've gone three for three here. Uh, Have uh, a look at these. Now, I was speaking with uh, Glenn earlier and he uh, was inspired by a poly bag and decided to see just how many he could do. I love the trans ones at the front. I like the uh, Scooby-Doo reference and the Captain America reveal. I didn't even realise that these were part of the deal. Yeah, good job. And then uh, a very popular thing, we have a couple of builders who have started doing it, is the rainbow build. Yep, we got a rainbow, uh, what do we call him, Grogu now, the child. Now this started as a trend for one of the first uh, builds, which was someone built a rainbow uh, UCS Millennium Falcon, just to see if they could. And it sort of became a building trend. did before then? Judy has the classic R2-D2 on the shirt. She does, uh, but that set actually came after the 2007 UCS Falcon. All oh, right, there you go. So it's been around for quite a while. I didn't even know that. Here's a fantastic uh, example of a Millennium Falcon that's been lit up, I believe, using Light My Bricks. Yes, several uh, Star Wars ships here with all the light up components added. It really makes them pop a bit, doesn't it? It sure does as well as a classic 2008 set, which I'm very fond to see on the table from the Clone Wars. Uh, which one's this to be looking at? Over in the the Y-Wing Clone Wars Bomber. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, the table space is often a challenge. Yeah, well, we had to cram everybody in today. Some of us only got half tables. How the X-Wing opens up. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. Lego do a fantastic job of getting I've those moving that elements. I've at home, I've swamped it. I swamped it. <laughs> and we're back to the theme of apocalypses. We are, but we've, this we've is come full circle. the movie, Everything is Awesome, of course. Lego Movie th th uh, 2, was it? 2, 2 indeed. And I do love Boba Fett riding the Rancor at the back there. That is a fantastic reference. Yeah, it's recently got the Disney Plus uh, channel and uh, saw the Boba Fett series, so oh. yeah, I had to add that in. It's not a movie, but hey, it's Legos. Spin around, Hello, it's right. Johnny, Hi. the star of behind the scenes at Briz Bricks. Once again, wrapping the social crew. Yeah. Well, my badge is all wonky. You're worthy though, of it. There we go. We'll fix you up so you yes. look presentable for Briz Bricks TV. Two hours in, what we had last year, we had that amount of people through in the first 40 minutes. Social media has been going off for us this month, hasn't it? Has. It has. And we'd like to thank everyone in the Brisbane Club who helped promote the show. Yes. And 
this video is going towards promoting BBX. Very true. So we're looking forward to seeing all of you that are watching this now at the show. 20 times bigger than today, BBX will be. I, I have 150 sausages being delivered, so I must scoot. Yes. No, you're good. Thank you. And let's get into eating those. It's nearly that time of the day. It we'll is almost lunchtime and I am hungry. So I am famished. Now, this is called Micro Star Wars. It is built by Steve and it made its debut at our Dreamworld collaboration with our Q-Log, which is another club here in Brisbane. Down uh, at the Dreamworld pop-up show. That it's they had, had some significant uh, new builds added to it, including the apparently very difficult and don't breathe too close to best So end. a lot of these small ships come in the advent calendars and he's utilised some of them in a, in a really creative moving mock. So that's all driven, hidden behind the scenes under the tablecloth. That's driven by the app that Mark Which you ran just broke. Through. No, no, it stops and goes to save the battery. Ah, so it's actually didn't know designed. it could do that. No, I didn't either, but it's running on the app. My so, old system just ran all day. Yeah, so it making actually that winding down. noise that yeah. everybody is very familiar with. So how good's that? Because that's exactly what I thought. How's he doing that? I all, thought you broke it. <laughs> it's all very well hidden and well designed. And he's got a brick stack. We'll focus on his brick stack, which is built on a ship. Of course, he's mocked. He's a he's a space nut, Steve. Basically, let's face it. And I do believe he uh, does a fantastic build called Zerg's Use Ships, which is his way of showing off his different spaceships. <laughs> it was going to 2.0, I think, at the next pop-up show that we may have in the future. They, they're expanding, I believe, for Pine Rivers with a uh, new franchising of uh, Zerg's Use Spaceships. Yeah, so you might be able to catch us at Pine Rivers if this goes to air early enough. But here we are uh, at Shelby's display. Now, she's not with us, so her, uh, she had other sport commitments today. So her dad's brought along the display. And again, it's another short brick stack. They're fairly new members of the club. But I do they believe that the, the theme here, Lego Elves, will actually be represented in Realms this year by Andrew. Right. So There's a bit of Elves in the forest, I believe. There are. <coughs> there are. As well as some men in tights. <laughs> Uh, for, for Johnny, well, who is uh, just here. The new Disney 100 CMF actually has the, the Robin Hood. I have thing. seen, I have seen. All right. Well, now, Rick, we're about to get to your table. One of our Do you classic give us builders. A, a quick little Rick run through of what you bought today. Rick has done a fantastic job again. Sure, down the front on the, on the right here, we've got a quick nod to the fact that we've got a big Realms display coming up in September. Great plug. I love what you're doing with so your So I've got my orcs uh, riding, the, riding the dinosaur. We've got one dinosaur down there, one Velociraptor having a, a quick snack. Having a feed. Uh, but mostly on this table, We've got crossover stuff, mostly around Scooby-Doo, you can see. We've got some Scooby-Doo dressed up as Ghostbusters. That's the only Ghostbusters fire station I can afford. Then. That's the yeah, same here. I do have the other one, but that's the that, that was the better one to buy. Uh, we also got a mystery machine dressed up as an Ecto-1, of course. And then uh, next to that, little tykes uh, turned into a little hot rod. Some other uh, Star Wars Scooby-Doo crossovers. We've got an X-Wing, and of course, everyone's moved on from the original trilogy now. So we've also got a Mandalorian Starfighter from the latest Mandalorian it really, series. It really looks good in those colours, actually. It pops quite well. It does look nice. And then um, also last year came out the Wednesday Adams series on TV. So there's Wednesday Adams playing her cello. And that connects beautifully to the jazz set, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, plugs right into the front of it. And um, also we've got uh, Lightning McQueen and uh, the Sheriff done up as Star Wars ships as well. Yep. And then, um, of course, down the back there, the... Yeah, I'll just focus on that in a minute. We're going to get to your... your I like to describe here. Rick's work as what happens if you've got every major sort of mashup you can imagine and stick it all together? Yeah, yeah why not cross things up? Give us a run down on this, Rick. What have we got here? Uh, well, when, uh, when I saw the publicity shots for that Botanic Garden come out, the first thing I saw with that dome was an astronomy uh, building, right? Yep. An old astronomy place. So I thought it looked a bit like uh, an old Victorian-era conservatory. And I... In my head, I, I can see it being turned into an observatory in its later life. So, um, you know, two sets plus a whole heap more parts, move things around. And yeah, you've got a fantastic job. And it's available on Rebrickable, isn't it? It is, and if you want to, you can point the uh, the big anywhere. telescope anywhere you like. <laughs> it's a very playable feature. Well done, sir. Got to get the girls into STEM. And a gorgeous set, too, actually. I might be picking one of those up, except yeah, I see it as a Star Wars base. Now, that brings us to the end of our display tables, but we've got heaps to go in the shopping side of things. Um, we've always got our retailers with us. So if you come down to a Brisbane show, there's a chance to buy old, new sets, collectible minifigs and parts Sometimes and pieces. Sometimes lose parts. Yeah. 
Um, and come down, say good day to us, meet and greet, see all the builders. And if you're interested, why don't you come and join us? We're always looking for new social members and become a part of Brisbricks. You can sign up through our website as well if uh, you are interested in that, or you can come to one of our social nights also here at Mount Gravatt, and we can help you uh, become a member if that is something that uh, does interest you. So find us online and all the socials. What are we? TikTok, Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. I think that's the major three that we're on these days. I don't we're, think LinkedIn counts anymore. No, we're not using that. It's too businessy. We're all about playability here. All right, Fun thanks. for everybody. Catch us. Bye.